Hey, hi everyone. So this is Piyush and uh, today I'll be discussing about queues and topics. So before I jump into the discussion, I'll start with my quick introduction. So my name is Piyush and I do have 10 years of experience in software industry, currently working as a senior engineer in Microsoft. So I have a good amount of experience on working AWS, Azure and other various technologies like uh, C, C++, Java and C Sharp. So uh, without wasting more time, um, I'll, I'll um, discuss about queues and topics next. So I'll start with the basics of queues and topics first and uh, then followed by the practical example of both using Azure Service Bus. Okay, let me start with the queues first. So queue is basically used for point to point kind of communication. Um, if we refer this diagram, producer produces messages to queues and uh, consumers consume it. Sorry for the typo here, instead of consumer three, I mistakenly have written consumer one. So uh, here pr producer has produced three messages here, message one, two, and three. And uh, when it comes to the uh, consumers, only one consumer could consume the copy of that particular message. The message one is consumed by consumer one, no other consumer could receive the same message. So this is the basic property of queue. Whereas in topics, instead of queues, we create topics and uh, topics basically used for one to many kind of communication uh, where producer produces the message and that message is consumed by every other uh, uh, subscriber a copy of that particular message so if we refer this example producer has produced three messages here message one two and three and uh, here if we see all the all the subscriber all the all the subscribers here could receive the same copy of that particular message the message one is subscribed by uh, or received by subscriber 1, 2 and 3 and same would happen with the message 2 and 3. Every other subscriber will receive the copy of that message at their own pace. When it comes to the Azure, uh, if you want to use these services, which service of Azure we can use to use topics and queues to create topics and queues. So the service is service bus and uh, we create a resource, we can create a resource of service bus inside which we can create a namespace and inside namespaces we can create topics and queues. So I'll, I'll give you one more practical example of topics. Maybe you would be able to easily understand uh, the mechanism of topic. So we all watch these videos on YouTube, right? And we subscribe to the, to the channel. And uh, whenever the creator uh, creates any new video and publishes that video to that channel, we all get the notification. So here we are the subscriber of that particular channel. Channel is the topic and uh, the content creator is the producer. So hope uh, it will be able to make you understand the concept of topic. So now I'll move on to the practical and I'll create uh, uh, service bus, service bus namespace, queues and topics in Azure. All right, now let's start with the practical. So uh, I was facing some issues. Um, I have turned off my camera, maybe going forward, will not see my face. So first of all, uh, we have to log into the Azure portal, then click on to the search bar and uh, search for the service bus service service bus click on to the service bus you see a create button there to create service bus namespace click on to there and then uh, choose the subscription uh, choose resource group or you can also create a new resource group upfront by create, uh, clicking on to create new then give uh, service bus namespace name maybe i'll give service bus namespace 005 i'll leave location as it is you can also change the location as per your preference so before choosing pricing tier, uh, uh, let me just explain that uh, either we have to choose premium or standard because if you choose basic pricing tier, you cannot create topics in basic pricing tier. So that service is available only in standard or in premium pricing tier. So I'll choose standard one and then review and create. It will validate, the portal will validate the inputs first and then will let us uh, allow to create the service first namespace. So uh, I have clicked on to create the service bus namespace, but um, it takes 20 to 25 seconds to create a new service bus namespace. Uh, due to the interest of time, I have already created uh, a service bus, which I'll be using uh, to create topics and queues. So this is the service bus namespace, which I have already created. And uh, I'll use this service bus namespace to create queues and topics. So before I start uh, uh, further, uh, let me just give you what exactly I'm going to do next. So we see two services here, queues and topics inside this service bus namespace. So what I'll I'll do next is I'll create queues and uh, send one message to that queue. And I'll also demonstrate how to consume that message as well as in topics, um, um, I'll create a topic. I'll create subscri subscribers to that particular topic. And I'll also demonstrate 
when we send a message to that topic all all the subscribers we have created for that topic will receive the copy of that particular message which is not uh, it doesn't happen in queue only you can consume the message once and only one and only uh, only one um, uh, consumer can consume the message uh, there would be no further copies sent to other uh, receivers or consumers so let me click on to the queue first once you click on to the queue uh, you see a queue button there to create queue let me create one queue with the name q01 it will create a queue there let me click on to the refresh button so a queue is created so uh, if i click on the queue um, uh, you see there is a active message count is zero once i send a message the count will be increased by one so how can we send a message to that particular queue is through service bus explorer and through the service bus explorer as well uh, not only we can send the message we can also consume the message so let me click on to the send message uh, there are multiple options i'll uh, to choose con content type i'll choose text plain and we'll write a message test message queue and we'll send it so once we send the message uh, if i click on to the overview uh, you would see uh, the active message count is 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 increased by one and uh, when i want to consume this message through the service explorer uh, we can assume this is um, the the receiver of this message uh, 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 and we can consume this message through the service bus explorer so we see two options here the peak mode and receive mode when i when we receive a message in peak mode um, we can receive and read the message but the message will not be removed from the queue so this is the test message queue and uh, if i go back to the overview uh, we see still the message is um, inside the queue because we read it through the uh, peak mode now if i change that mode from peak to receive mode uh, let me receive the message in receive mode so now the message will be removed from the queue let me read the message first uh, if I click on the message, so we have con consumed the message. If I click on refresh, go back to overview, the message has been removed. So this is how you can create queues in service bus namespace. Uh, I hope you uh, understood uh, the concept very well here. Let me go back to queue and jump on to the topics. So if you want to create topics at the same, uh, you uh, the, the similar way uh, you created the topics, you can click on the top, uh, the similar way you created the queues, you cre uh, click on the topics click on the topic give the topic name topic 01 so click on to create it will create a new topic once the topic is created now click on to the topic and inside the topic you see entities and subscriptions so you can also create subscriptions uh, inside topics if you are using topic service of service bus so let me give subscription name I'll create two subscriptions so subscription first with the name subscription sub01 let me create this subscription once and then go back to the topic sub top sorry uh, if i go inside it if i click on subscription this subscription 01 has been created i'll create one more subscription to demonstrate both subscription will get the same message of copy subscription 2 then click on create and the subscription 2 will be created so you see two subscriptions here right if i click on the overview uh, you see two subscriptions are there for this topic and uh, the message count and active message count is zero here so once we send a message to the topic both subscription subs subscribers will receive that message and count will be increased by one so how can we send the message and receive the message uh, is uh, very similar to what we did in queues so uh, we also have a service bus explorer inside topics uh, to send the message uh, click on the service bus explorer and then click on the send message um, leave content type text plain as it is type message topic and then send it so we have sent the message to the topic we have created let's click on the overview and we'll see this this the message has been delivered to both of the subscriptions uh, to that particular topic and now if we want to receive the message let me choose the topic sorry let me choose the subscription for this topic this is the subscription subscription one instead of peak i'll choose receive message click on the receive message and then receive the message now if we click on the message we have received and gone through the message test message topic 
if I click on the overview, the message count would, would be decreased by one because we have consumed the message. Now going back to the service bus explorer to consume the message for uh, the another service, another subscription of this topic, subscriber of this topic that is sub 02. Click on the receive mode and then click on the receive message. So receive the second message and uh, click on the message, the same message, the same copy of that message has been received by the subscriber 02. If I go back to the overview, I see there is no message left. So this is uh, uh, the demonstration of creating queues and topics in service bus, which is a service of Azure. Uh, I hope you understand um, uh, the concept very well. How can we uh, use topics and uh, 